It's been described as a galactic gold rush, a race to mine asteroids. In the coming year, a number of companies will start testing technology they say will provide the resources needed to develop a permanent base in space. They're orbiting the sun right alongside the Earth with resources like water, with things like metals, iron, nickel, cobalt, that we can put in today's 3D metal printers, and we can construct structures in space. Private space companies Blue Origin and SpaceX are hoping for manned tests of their space capsules. And two space telescopes, including this one from NASA, which is designed to spot exoplanets, those orbiting distant stars, are due to launch in the coming year. Uh, India's space agency plans to launch 83 small satellites in one go, something that's never been done before. And China has a mission to put a lander on the moon, gather samples and then bring them back to Earth. That would be a Chinese first. And after a 13-year mission, the Cassini space probe will descend into Saturn's atmosphere, sending back data to Earth until it's destroyed by the planet's violent icy clouds. Alexa, order trash liners. I found glad tall trash bags. Would you like to buy it? Yes. Artificial intelligence speech and language devices such as this assistant from Amazon are expected to become increasingly multilingual in the coming year as what's called machine learning makes them more powerful. It's about developing a new kind of intelligence that will initially augment our human intelligence but that machine intelligence will eventually solve problems which we as humans cannot solve. And some of those computers will be greener. Google says it will power its entire company, including its energy-hungry data centers with renewable energy by the end of the year. A new type of HIV vaccine will be trialed on 600 people in North America over the next year. It's already been shown to be safe, but now trials will test whether the vaccine is effective at preventing people from getting the virus. The car's doing it all itself. And despite the death of a driver in a Tesla electric car in May, while it was driving on autopilot, self-driving features in cars are expected to become increasingly common as many car and technology companies team up. The technology companies, the automakers are really preparing, so they're building their business models around it because there's no question that it's coming. Many of these dizzying and disruptive advances in science and technology will provide solutions to some of the world's problems. But the greatest test must be whether they can and will improve the lives of us all. Tarek Vasily, Al Jazeera.